Tyler, um, obviously you haven't gotten a ton of reps leading up into this game. How did you? How how comfortable did you feel going out there? I think that first play it was a successful play that boosted my confidence a lot. Um, our Tyler made a good play after the catch, and after that it was it was just going well. Had all the time in the world. <clears throat> Didn't start fast enough as has been trend this whole season, but. Um, no, it was fine. Coach Walter Scheid did a good job putting plays down that I was familiar with. And guys around us making plays online, giving me a good pocket, so it wasn't that bad. Uh, first game for you, though, in about four years? That... Four years next month, yeah. Okay, so was the speed there? Did you have to adjust? Would that, would that kind of contribute to the slow start, do you think? Um, I don't think so. I think I just need to trust my rules and one thing those things don't seem like they're going well. Trust my own line, just stay in the pocket. I think I got out of the pocket unnecessarily too much tonight and forced some throws that weren't, <coughs> did some things that I wasn't supposed to, but it didn't seem too fast, no. How many reps did you get this week, just leading up to this game? Um, none. Well, like, scout reps didn't get any reps. I did some seven on, but okay. no real reps. I, yeah. So, like, were you prepared as the second string guy? Did you know that was your role in there? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I had dudes around me, Austin, Aaron, and Chris, even up in the box, supported me and helped me do the, whatever I, I needed to do. They were always there giving me pointers and giving me ideas and reminders. So, uh, How would you guys kind of kind of stick together down 24 but didn't make a comeback in that fourth quarter? What was kind of the message on the sideline? The sideline was just, they, they started, once we started making plays as an offense, especially, defense was doing well throughout the game, but as an offense, once we started making plays, the, the energy rose, the crowd was helpful, um, people started believing, defense continued to shut them out, force, force them to punt, giving us the ball back. Uh, the sideline was good. I think that we just need to find a way to dig down deeper at the beginning of the game to make it not come to this again. Yeah, Sinead, when it comes to that, why do you think you guys have had such struggles in that first quarter? I don't know, honestly. It's just probably just coming out slow, um, not really paying attention when we uh, struggled in that first drive. It's even being aligning, so it seemed not being disciplined enough and getting ready. <laughs> probably it. How disheartening is it to, like, that what, fourth and 12, they score a big touchdown on? How, how just, like, yeah, how, how much does that hurt? Uh, it sucks, especially when it happens, but especially when we look at the score and see that we uh, lost by three. This, those that play and the uh, hail mary then the half are two plays that they suck when it happens and then even worse when you lose by three points and you can't have fourteen points off the board. The the, the penalty didn't help. Didn't, it couldn't have helped. Yeah, and fifty yards as opposed to thirty five. That's a huge difference. Yeah. So. So what what do you? I guess senior season, man. What, what, how do you want to end this thing? How, how do you guys write right the ship? So uh, of course, we want to go three and zero last three games. Um, we play really well at home and. Two wins at home would put us um, above 500 at home. Um, but just going out and fighting for each other, fighting for the guys that are around me, the seniors and the younger guys that are coming up. I think I've always had really good seniors here to, to help me and kind of set the standards. So I want to be that same type person for SC in the future. Uh, Tyler, what if there was a play you could have back? What would it be? Either the uh, the last two plays that wide open dudes in the end zone on the, our last or second to last drive because if I would have hit them either McCoy on the cross or Logan on that spot route if I would have hit them we'd have two minutes as opposed to 22 seconds to go and try to put a drive together. Um, when it comes to your season just what you're now the fourth quarterback to get significant time how weird is that for an offense to just cont continually change their signal callers? I, I think that we were all well prepared at the beginning of the season, we had good competition through fall yeah. camp, and we were all well prepared. We're a tight knit group as QBs, and as the rest of the, the rest of the offense didn't, they don't flinch when another QB goes in. They just do their job and trust us to do our job, and it's we got to reciprocate that. Trust them that they're going to do what they are supposed to do. So I think that we just need to. <clears throat> I don't think that it's too weird for the offense. Uh -huh. All right, thank you guys. Yeah. Thanks again. Frustrated, just, uh, we have an undisciplined football team and then when you, you make kind of bad coaching decisions there, um, at the end of the, the first half, you cost yourself points and 
uh, ended up costing us at the end of the game. But we 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 got to find a way to to be more disciplined. We we cost ourselves on fourth down, cost ourselves yards in the middle of the game. Uh, but they continued to fight. So I do want to thank uh, Cedar City, uh, the guy, the people that came out and stayed there. The, we came back and they were there behind us the whole way. Um, and I just uh, I want. T Bird Nation to reach their prayers out to uh, our linebacker coach. He's going into surgeries, fought uh, cancer all this whole season, and he's uh, finally getting it taken out. He's done a great job um, just being around, being moral support, and wish we could have pulled it out for him tonight um, on his way into there. But want to send our prayers that way, and hopefully gets a, gets recovered and, and back soon. Um, you talk about an undisciplined football team. Where, where exactly are you seeing? That? Um, just penalties. I mean, I mean, you got the you got a couple personal fouls. Uh, one kicked us out of um, field goal range uh, in the first half that ended up uh, costing us points on that drive. Uh, we had a uh, late hit on on punt return, uh, which backed us up 15 yards, which really didn't help our offense out on that drive. Um, it was a fourth and nine in the third quarter, and uh, fourth and I think it was nine or eleven. I think it was eleven. Fourth and eleven. Uh, we get an incomplete pass, but we jumped off sides for no apparent reason, and they were able to give them a second chance at it. And we missed a tackle um, on a fly sweep play uh, after that, which caused them to get a first down. They ended up scoring a, a touchdown later that drive. Um, so just, I mean, there's so many points out there that we could hold off the board, that we can help ourselves and score, and you end up losing by three points. Um, and they, they keep battling, so it's, it's frustrating because you know the team wants to be good, they want to do the right things, and so um, I have to figure out how to make sure that they do the right things all the time, because everybody can see that watches our team, we fight, we fight to the end, they they bust their butts, and so it's, it's, it's on uh, me and the coaching staff to make sure that we're doing the right things at the right time to be able to um, score more points than the other team. Um, when it comes to that uh, down by 10, driving for that touchdown drive, is there ever a time that you think, uh, let's kick a field goal early and get the ball back with more time? Yeah, there was a couple times, but every time we did that, we got really close to the first down. So it was like, ah, we're already down here. Let's get the seven now um, to be able to, to get in, in field goal range. Um, so that was kind of the thought process. We definitely thought about it. There was just some, there were so many situations right there where it was hard to either get the field goal team on quickly because we're wasting time as, 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 with all that transition, or just trying to go as fast as we can to score so we could get the ball back uh, with enough time to score a touchdown. And when it comes to Tyler, how hard is it for him to not have any reps pretty much all season and then get thrust into that starring role? Uh, I mean, we said that we, we felt good about our quarterbacks going into the season. He was one of those guys, and uh, it's definitely a def difficult situation to be thrown in um, in the first quarter. Uh, when our quarterback goes down, and uh, I thought he did a tremendous job of stepping up. He threw the ball 43 times, and um, and thought he did a great job of leading our offense down. And we scored 39 points, so um, it's enough to win a football game. Oh, when it comes to Austin, do we have an update on him? Um, no, I mean obviously he wasn't good enough to go back in the game, yeah. um, so we'll reevaluate him on Monday and see how that goes. Um, are you? Do you want to this to be an open com competition again, or do you wish that you just kind of had someone in the <clears throat> back at this point? I don't know. We uh, we got a lot of good players and um, lean on Jade up a lot to to make sure that our guys are ready to go. And obviously, you can see no matter who goes in, they're well prepared and uh, ready to execute. Uh, defensively, have you kind of figured out what's wrong in that first quarter? Obviously, not tonight, but have you um, identified it at least? No, no. If we could play better in the first, we'd have a pretty dang good defense. Uh, it's it's frustrating to to go out there and play like that at the beginning of the games. Try some new things today. Um, it didn't work, so uh, we'll see. We'll keep plugging away and find ways to to try to get off the field uh, on the first drive. Um, let's talk a little positives on the defense. So uh, that holding them on that just with a minute left to go to give you guys a ball a chance with the ball back to that. Well, is that a growing moment for him? Well, we did it. We really didn't need to last week against Idaho, but we brought him over to the sideline after first down and said, hey, this is this situation. Fourth, fourth quarter, uh, you got three timeouts. We need to get three stops to get the ball back for our offense. Let's, let's, let's practice that right now. 
so we got a chance to do that against Idaho, and then the next game we run right into the situation. So it was good for them to see it uh, one week and then be able to execute it really both weeks and get the ball back and um, give ourselves a fighting chance. We wish we had a little bit more time, but um, just ran out of time. The punt before halftime, <coughs> led, and, then the, and then the personal foul they hit after that led to the Hail Mary and, and got the uh, and got them the extra touchdown mm. that, led, that led to the uh, that added to the lead. Yeah, frustration involved in, in that. Uh, yeah, like I said, that's on me. That should never never got to that point. Um, that was bad. Like I said, bad coaching decision there. Um, mm -hmm. Way before that, um, that should have never happened. So right. that's something I gotta make sure that doesn't happen. Brad, thank you, Coach.